Well, hello there. I hope that you are doing wonderful today and welcome back. But if you are new here, welcome. My name is Chewy and we play strategy games on this channel. If uh, daily strategy content is something you might be interested in, make sure you subscribe and ding the bell. That way you get notified when we upload new videos. Today, we're going to be starting a new campaign in Europa Universalis 4 in the Antebellum mod as Nicaea. Uh, Antebellum received a major facelift. It is an overhaul mod that is a, basically an alternate history mod for EU4. It is wonderful. I love it. The 1.6 update came out a couple of weeks ago, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. And obviously, Nicaea is a tag in that mod. So I made a uh, light goal on the previous uh, series of Byzantium in which we were going to be doing Nicaea. If we got 2,500 likes, we're going to do a Hellenic Nicaea run, and obviously we're going to be starting that today. And uh, now the question is, is what is next? Well, I'm curious what you guys would like to see, so go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you've played Antebellum before and you want to see a certain series, let me know. And uh, let me know how you feel about Hellenic Nicaea and the Hellenic Empire, because I am very excited. Uh, if you guys are wondering why my game looks the way it does, I have my mod pack linked in the description below. If you check it out, make sure you give it a thumbs up on the workshop so other people can find it. Uh, it makes my game look nice and pretty, and it makes it sound pretty as well, because Runite Drill is the wonderful musical artist behind this stuff. I support... I. Uh, suggest you support him uh, by checking out his Spotify. It's also linked in the description. Anything you're interested in, link it in the description. Parmalion is giving early access to the 1.7 patch to his patrons. So if you're interested in early access to upcoming patches, make sure you support him on Patreon. Uh, if you want to join the Discord for Antebellum as well as mine, link is in the description. If you want to join my subreddit or follow me on my Twitter, link is in the description. And if you want to support me on my Patreon, you guessed it, link is in the description. But anyways, you guys are here for Nicaea. So let's play some Nicaea. Well, here we are. It has been said that Nicaea is the Prussia of Anatolia, and I am def definitely, definitely looking forward to this. So let's start off by figuring, figuring out a little bit of an alliance network here. So we are rivaled by a lot of people over here. Uh, Byzantium will get rivaled back because obviously we're going to be taking Constantinople ASAP. Uh, but as I said in the intro, at least I think I said it in the intro, we will not be really expanding this much this way. Uh, our mission tree, as far as I know, has us really pushing this way. And uh, obviously, we're going to be uniting under the Hellenic banner here ASAP. So no worries with all that stuff. So if we take a look at our mission here, we need to build up to our navy and need to have army tradition and 100% of our army force limit. Oh, we can do that. We can do that, I think. I think we can. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to have to fight a couple of, uh, of battles here early on. Complete this mission while our navy is larger than Byzantine, but the Byzantine one. We'll also receive uh, naval combat off owned coast for 25 years. That's pretty solid. So, what do these guys have? 18. So, we need to get at least three. So, let's go with... Uh, yeah, five galleys is fine. We're going to have to build up to our army force limit as well. So, let's start off by um, doing a couple of these. I don't think I'm going to click these buttons early on. I try to avoid going on low crown land for the most part. But uh, we're going to see exactly what we're capable of doing here. Let's go with Private Trade Fleet and Free Enterprise. And uh, let's go ahead and scornfully insult these guys. We do not have a truce to them. So what you do is right off the rip, you scornfully insult somebody. Get 10 PP as well as you lose a little bit of prestige. And uh, if all done correctly, your prestige will go just slightly negative, which will allow you to pick up a little bit of extra because this actually scales up. So you actually end up with a net positive there. Uh, supremacy over the crown and right of council. That is fine with me. Then we'll go with religious diplomats and uh, go with oversight of the clergy. Let's go ahead and sell our crown land here. Let's yoink a little bit of crown land to get that back up over that 25 uh, threshold. And then let us build up here. Uh, economically, we are in an okay spot. We can't quite afford more cav. That, not at least, not that I feel comfortable doing. Uh, all of our advisors are base cost. Okay. Probably should go with the morale guy, but uh, we're going to see what we can come up with now. Now, as far as I know, is there any other branches here except the Roman refugees? Byzantine refugees event. Okay. Well, hopefully we can get that going soon. Nobility has 80 influence and uh, four privileges have enacted them. Empower the stratocracy, huh? Empower the stratocracy. I don't know where that is. Enact it. It's a decision, I assume. All right. We'll have to come. We'll figure that out in due time. Um, so as far as our government reform, we are a military dictatorship. 
Now, I believe that actually does allow us to... Un there is something that will allow us to unlock uh, militarization here. And it doesn't take a whole lot, whole long to do. All right. So we're going to turn that fort off for now. And I think our capital has a fort as well. So nice forts. Um, let's find some allies here. Or at least try to. Uh, I'd rather not ally people that directly border me. Because uh, they're going to get in my way. These guys are... Mm -hmm. Let's ally you guys. And then let's ally... Um, I think uh, Moldavia sounds like a good choice. Basically, I want to ally somebody to act as a defensive alliance to prevent anybody from getting any funny ideas. So these guys have 11,000 units. Who are they allied to? Serbia. Hmm. Nobody has any claims on them that I'm aware of either. All right. I think we get an event early on that will allow us to push them for Smyrna. Let's go ahead and rival some other guys around us. Let's rival these Agunkids, Agunids guys. And let's, uh, let's see here. Rival these uh, Zangids. And I will immediately begin building some spy network on them. Now, we are steering from over here. Will that get us? Yep. Um... All right. Not these guys, though, huh? What about over here? The Zangids and the Akunids, so that's good. As much uh, spy network as possible so we can get our, um... Get everything up here as quickly as possible. Now, I could go for a Humiliate super early. I think we will go for that. Let's see here. Well, if we're going to Conquest, we probably want to Conquest these guys over here. These provinces are nice. They have a level 3 fort and these guys also have a level 3 fort. All right, this is fine. Now, uh, I made the mistake of building my army after the Navy, so most of these boys are actually not going to be able to do anything. Uh, at least, uh, what I mean is I will not be uh, gaining any men in the immediate future. Get a general, two siege pips. I will gladly take that. We should be able to just head on in and wipe them out. Absolutely. Should be a stack wipe. Absolutely. Very good. And... Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a little trick here where you um, just get onto all their provinces as quickly as possible. And what that does is that uh, doesn't allow them to pop any men out of the ground. And uh, that way, you know, you're good to go. I'll get a loot tick here. Let's turn those forts back off. They don't have an army or anything or a navy or anything like that. And you can turn your maintenance down a little bit. You're still going to uh, recoup some men. Parmenian. Parmenian. Parmelion? He's a 242. That's. Mm, it's a. It's a. Um, um, yeah, no, that's not good enough for me. I'm shooting for at least 10. That's the goal here. They're allied to the Seljuks. That is unfortunate. So, what we need to do is uh, make sure we get these guys favorited so we can find out kind of what our. Um, what our opportunities are here. So, basically, as soon as these guys get into a war. We want to make sure that we're able to um, make that happen. Take advantage of it. Now, let's focus on Mill. Get you here. Spy Network will help us get some claims on these guys. I'll get a claim on uh, these two provinces. I will attack them as soon as I possibly can. Now, these guys here, you, could, there's, there, you have two options here. All right. So we have our 18 now. They have 19 and we have 20. So we're going to get the wooden wall, essentially, for 20 years, which is great. Very good. Lots of galleys, big time. Uh, dominate the Aegean, huh? Have a f No neighboring allies have a fleet smaller than us. Very good. Or all. All neighboring countries, I said. Gain an admiral. Naval tradition from battles and some permanent claims on uh, some land over here. Very good. All right. Let's take a look over here. Steal the Greek fire. Spy network of at least 75 in Byzantium. Well, I can do that easily enough. Let's recall you. Oopsies. I uh, meant to recall you instead. Losing a little bit of money like you do. Moria has declared independence. We must tolerate... Mustn't tolerate such treachery. Okay. Very good. There you go. We've won this. So here's the thing. We could humiliate them for the age objective. That would get us one step closer to a golden era. Or 
you can uh, show superiority or show strength, which does not give you the um, the age objective, but it does give you PP as well. Uh, it hurts their prestige, and most importantly, it gives you 100 of each mana. 100 of each. So that's 300. That is worth, in my opinion. That is very much worth. Let's get these guys over here. And uh, there you go. Oh. Oh, I'm a dingus. One of the following must be true. Very good. Uh, that will give me the claims that I was looking for, which is incredible. The Turkish Menace. 15 owned provinces. Yeah, we can do that eventually. Uh, so let's see. Or steal the Greek fire. That will allow us to do this. We will steal the heavily guarded Byzantine formula and create our own Greek fire. Getting galley combat ability for the rest of the game and naval leader fire. Very solid. Fortify the coastline. Get some naval batteries. We can do that eventually. Banish the Latins. Okay. So that is to conquer a few provinces over here. The Turkish menace is basically just to have some provinces over here. We'll be able to do that as well. So yeah, basically what we need to do is we need to attack these guys and have the Seljuks not help. Or if we're going to attack them and have the Seljuks help, maybe we need to find a friend that will help us beat up on the Seljuks here. So Nizrids might be a solid ally to look for early on. We'll see what we can come up with here. Very good though. Nice little boost there. That means we're probably going to be able to get um, the technologies basically first. Which is great. Now, I'm hoping that this event will happen here. Assassination of a noble, huh? All right. Kind of weird. Okay. These guys have been declared war on. Did they call in? They did not call them in. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's just see how close we would be able to get with these guys. Are we built up to force limit? We are. We are still built up to our force limit. Okay. Hmm. We can't really afford another guy yet. Base tax. Prestige of at least 10. We'll be able to get that in no time. So we'll push for that. That's fine. Now... I think this is the way to do it, right? Serbia would join, so they would have a navy that would come in, but uh, I'm not too concerned about them. Where's this uh, small navy at? Let's have these guys go home at war. So what I want to do is I want these guys to be, like, over here. And I'm going to have this navy come out here because they're blockading right now. We are going to attack these guys for Lesbos. Let's um, get, get a claim on you guys here. Oh, I got permanent claims. Right, right, right. Okay, that's fine. Let's attack Byzantium. Now, the sooner we attack them, the better, especially if they're at war already. Now, I believe I also have an admiral here. Is this the Nicene Legions? The tension at the border. Uh-oh. All right. Let's have these guys get ganked out here. Very good. Yeah, let's do this real quick. They won't attack me. And if they start to bring men across, it's honestly okay. I'm, uh, to be honest with you, I'm kind of completely okay. Oh, look at that galley. We got the galley combat ability. Oh, no, we didn't. We didn't even steal the Greek fire yet. Okay. A nice little opener then. So this is great. This is totally fine with me. Take a look at this. These guys are heading into this province. All right. Did I not have those guys heading over this way? What am I doing? All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to detach one unit. Have these guys come on over here. Those guys are here. Now, uh, anybody who's watched me for any period of time knows exactly what I'm about to do right now. We're going to fight those guys. And we're going to head over. And as they start to flee... Oh, we wiped them anyway, so... Nice. <laughs> well, and the naval dominance is absolutely just so one-sided. Make sure we are repairing our ships. And yeah, like, I'll just let them bring their armies over. This is totally fine with me. Though I don't know if I want them to come into this woods fort, woods province here. Yeah, come on over, Serbia. Make my day, man. Make my day. Let's scorch that. Let's actually scorch the fort as well. It, it's scorching is super useful, I promise. Don't worry about it. We are getting raided. I actually didn't even realize that. Luckily, all of our coastal provinces have a fort to bump. Uh, Byzantine refugees. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, I'll definitely just take the base or the, the, the mana right there. That will allow us to click this mission down here. Prosperity in the state of Nicaea. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until this uh, devastation is gone in that province. I'm going to scorch this province here as well. This is a huge state, actually. We have the war goal, though. So in this war, we're going to easily take these three. Now, the goal would be to cross over here and at least, at least take Constantinople. Constantinople is a lot of development. 27 freaking dev. That's crazy. Right, I should probably bring my navy over here to um, blockade this fort. It also just gives them general war exhaustion as well. Meanwhile, their whole army is over here sieging down this province for over a year. You love to see it happen, folks. Yep, so is this gone? It is gone indeed. All right. Prosperity in the state, and uh, we're going to get some tax modifier. Generally, I wouldn't be too stoked about that, but um, this is fine. Embrace Renaissance and Prestige of at least 50. Okay. Very good. So, yes, we will be playing as Hellenic. We will be uh, creating a Hellenic nation. Not quite yet, but soon, TM. Okay, so my goal would be to cross over here into Gallipoli. And see if we can maybe honey pot them in. Let's get a... Let's see here. Autocrator. Let's uh, have our general on you. And if they want to head over this way, that is totally fine. Because they're going to get blockaded into this province. Yep. This is fine. So as soon as they get across there, we'll be there... I'm going to get there after the 13th, so the 14th. So now these guys are stuck there. And uh, Demetrios, 342, I'll take that. It's one point better than it was before. So we're taking a minus one here, which is not ideal. But what we can do is now we're going to fake them out. Oh, we stack wiped them anyway. So, man. Um, <laughs> generally, I would be doing a little bit of cheesy stuff here. But it looks like these guys suck so bad that uh, we're able to just come out and wipe them out without um, the need to worry about it. Yeah, they want to blockade me, huh? Yeah, I don't think so, friends. They're going to have literally no navy anymore after this. They're going to get their navy stack wipe. Look at that. Byzantium has four galleys anymore. Ten transports, though. All right, let's get you guys over here, and let's have you guys head over this way. My one galley is damaged, but I... Yeah, I was going to say, I reckon this is mostly transport ships. Okay, they're coming over here. So I guarantee you they're coming over under this fort. If I know anything about the AI, I know that they're coming directly for this fort. We got a wall breach in Constantinople already. Yikes, man. Let's get these guys over here and blockade. Oh, they're not, they don't even want that smoke anymore. I'll lose the diplomana. The mercantilism is very nice. I'm a big fan of mercantilism. All right. Yeah, we must have gotten caught spying. I didn't catch that. How are you guys doing over here? Yeah, we're friendly. 54. Yeah, we're probably not going to make it happen. Seljuks are in a war. Against QQ. So what I need to do is hopefully find an opportunity where the Seljuks have a low um, enthusiasm. And uh, to join the war, that is. And uh, we'll make it happen. But we'll see. We will see. There you go. Take Miltech. Nobility cannot be bought. Generally, this is what I always take because I like to have stability. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do this. So I just paid 89 or whatever, 80, 80 something admin for two stability. And uh, having high stability is really nice. Now, we must have been, uh, we must have had some devastation bring down our uh, prosperity. I don't see any of it, but... Um, that would explain why it's not at least 50, because it was 50 before, so... Unfortunate. But uh, taking Constantinople from these guys is going to be a huge, huge step in the right direction. There you go. Have these guys get a monthly repair tick. There you go. Head on over here. Wipe out as many ships as possible. Basically, you, nobody will be able to stand against me. Again, get your repair tick. We can just pop into the port for one month. Why not do it, you know? There you go. Look at that, man. Oh, boy. 
All right, and we're going to take Constantinople as well as the Aegean Islands. Now, it might be smart for us to like maybe take um take a um Athens as a vassal or uh, not Athens, uh, Epirus. I don't think I'd be able to do it for 11 war score though. So I think this is reasonable. We got buses spying on them again. Let's take war reps from them. That's fine with me. We have them blockaded big time. So that's a nice boost to our war score here. Now, maybe it would be smart for me to head up and separate piece these guys out. But um, I think I'm okay with just waiting on this one. If they want to bring their army over, I'll, I will gladly wipe their army out. Yeah, come on in, baby. See, they'll be there on the 7th and I could be there before that. All right. Oh, shut up. AIs, they always faster than the player, man. Now they're on medium enthusiasm. Why did it go up? Yeah, I don't know, man. They're making gains. Is that what it says? Oh, it says Nicaea is making gains. <laughs> that would have been funny. All right. And I don't care about um, scorching them. It doesn't hurt me to scorch them. Yep, they're gonna they're getting absolutely clobbered in this war. So I suppose I will come up here. Meanwhile, they're getting just destroyed by the war. So the longer this war goes on, like it doesn't hurt me any. And turn my forts off over here as well, because they can't get past that zone of control. Let's see here. Hopefully we can win this before they win this province. And then we can just piece these guys out. That's what I want to do. There we go. A white piece is fine. And now what that does is that gives us the 100% that we're looking for. Um, I'll take the legitimacy, I think. Consort of the people is nice, but I don't think it's necessary. And there you go. Might as well take that extra little bit of money. No. But uh, we will gain Constantinople, where we can actually yoink that development back to Nicaea. And just like that, we got 22 development in our capital. Constantinople is still really good dev and uh, we will core it all up we can now finish the mission conquer Smyrna which is uh, over here that will give us permanent claims on a bunch of stuff over there okay right so I didn't have a claim on Constantinople so take a look at this where are we at where are we at here right here so I have 267 after coring it however if I click that mission Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Oh, we're going to destroy it. <laughs> we will destroy the legacy of the Romans. No country will ever be able to restore Byzantium. Nicaea gets uh, Nicator until the death of my guy, giving us some morale. Very good. I was thinking that was going to give me a, uh, a free core on it, but it did not, which is fine. But now you can see it's going to end up saving us a little bit. At least I think it should because we have a claim. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe it doesn't go cheaper, but it will definitely go faster, which is nice. Let's uh, root out that corruption there. We're definitely going to keep that fort on over here, though. Let's get the army over here because we're going to have rebels. Boy, are we. Now, these guys are all accepted culture, so that'll be helpful. Um, let's see here. You guys are still in this war. They're at 27. They were at 30 before, so we'll see. These guys have also been in this war for a very long time. But having Constantinople is going to help out our economy significantly once we're done with all these cores and stuff. I think we rival Bulgaria. And uh, we also need to make sure, always embargo your rivals if you're able. If you don't have a truce with them, you should. Let's embargo these guys as well. Gives you PP. We have massive PP right now, which is great. Great news. Yeah, we're going to keep the, um, the forts on these provinces at least. Oof. Oof. Big oof. I could trade company Constantinople. That would give us a lot more trade over here. I'll do it. You know what? Screw it. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I'm telling you. The fact that it's overseas, quote unquote, it's a, in a different region. If you look right here, Eastern Europe versus where in the Levant. Technically, our capital is in the Levant. So that's hilarious. That's really funny. The Renaissance has spawned. It did not spawn in Constantinople, sadly. It can spawn in Constantinople and Antebellum. All right, so uh, where are we at here? Steal the Greek fire. We'll hopefully get that soon. Fortify the coastline, hopefully, eventually. Oh, shoot. Owned by us and have at least 40 development.
All right. So maybe I shouldn't have yoinked the dev there. I don't know. Ooh. Whoa, really? Andalusia's got some breakaway states. Okay. Venice declared war on their new enemy, Byzantium. Mm-hmm. And, oh, no, these poor guys. They don't stand a chance. They do not stand a chance. What is this song? Goodness gracious. The Flavor Universalis theme is so good. Absolutely just gorgeous, man. All right. So this is good. Oh, I'll have to turn that one on for a couple months. Let that uh, devastation on Lesbos. We can't let the lesbians leave the lesbians to be devastated. We need to make sure we take care of them. We love our lesbians around here. Isn't that right, boys? All right. We're doing good. This devastation will come down over time. Now, luckily for us, this uh, is not considered part of this area. So our prosperity will continue to go up in this area. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Uh, Mentisha is allied to Celia. Oh, yeah. I can do that. That's fine with me. If we're going to have Byzantine Separatists, we're going to have them. There's nothing I can really do about that. Let's go ahead and attack. These guys I can separate piece out. These guys are Coptic, huh? Coptic uh, Armenians. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Let's declare war. We have claims on all three of their provinces. Their ally is not actually even going to join. So uh, that's like best case scenario. Half off trader. I don't think I can afford them. So I'll just take the trade power in Aleppo. No big deal. Very good. We'll take half. And then have you guys... Well, hold on a minute. Let's have you guys do that. And have you guys do that. And uh, we'll turn that fort back off over here. Is Lesbos good? Yes, Smyrna. We can turn that off as well. Come on over here and blockade them. Make sure that their navy gets killed. 13 galleys. I must have stolen some ships from them and I didn't even realize it. Incredible. Look at that, man. <laughs> Talk about a stomp. And uh, we'll be able to take that province. Easy peasy, baby. Easy peasy. So these guys are still in this war. Seljuks have some debt, but it's not enough. Hmm. They have low manpower. I suppose if we're going to do it, we could do it. Um, we could just merc up, maybe. I'm probably going to end up having to state this. Yeah. I lied. I'm not going to trade company. It is smart to trade company, like, as far as financially. But um, for our long-term growth, I'm going to... Coring it will bring down the autonomy. Then once we're done with the war, I'll be able to... Um, Turn down the autonomy even a little bit more. How are these guys still occupied in this war? They're base racing? Yeah, they are. And neither of them have enough to base race each other's capital. So they're... Yep, I was going to say. How much you want to bet they're just going to white peace after a little bit. Hilarious. That is hilarious. <laughs> All right. Now, these guys are definitely steamrolling that war, but they still haven't peaced out. So there's still an opportunity... We're going to full annex these guys, no problem. Man, quite a bit of growth in this first episode. I'm happy with that. Uh, sadly, it means our admin tech is going to fall behind, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's turn that forward on here to uh, make sure we are dealing with that devastation. All right. Let's take a couple of months here to uh, recoup and just, you know, let that happen. Let's also turn down that autonomy here. So if you take a look here, uh, local autonomy modifies that by a 48%. So, uh, we get nothing. And this is modified by 30, 48%. So, we turn that down. We make an extra 0.3 ducats per month from that province. Constantinople will get uh, local goods produced. Local trade power. I'd rather them have local trade power. I don't care about Ragusa's uh, stuff there. All right. So, where are we at now? Oh, man. We are just crushing through these missions. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Right here. Steal the Greek fire. Yes. Very good. All right, and I have claims on a bunch of their provinces over here. So let's go ahead and get some spy network on you guys. Now, these guys are not going to ally me, so I'm just going to recall that. Let's get some spy network on you guys as well. Now, the Byzantine Separatists are going to fire, almost guaranteed. Decrease that autonomy as well. Might as well just decrease your autonomy. If you're going to get rebels, you're going to get rebels. There's no reason to have the autonomy if you can avoid it. So uh, decrease that there as well. Let's uh, state you up. Yep. 
next month we can decrease over the year in these two provinces now the reason why i'm doing this is because if the rebels are going to fire just let them fire because then you'll have some time to let nationalism or years of separatism i guess they call it tick down and also it raises our force limit now look at that we're up to twenty thousand force limit and we have money so we'll get a couple of cav here so what do we have here four more men look at that we're up to twenty thousand lads how about that for an opener i didn't do any test runs either so i'm pretty happy with this Hope you guys are excited for the campaign. We will do Hellenic, of course. It's just going to take some time. Obviously, we have to we have to actually get there to the point where we're able to even flip uh, Hellenic. So if you guys are excited, make sure you leave a like on the video. I do appreciate that. Uh, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because there's plenty of content you're missing out on if you're not subscribed. Make sure you follow me over at twitch.tv slash shoot for multiple streams every single week. And uh, tomorrow, at the day after this stream on Saturday, we're going to be doing a cooking stream. Or this uh this uh episode going live is what i meant to say we were going we're going to be having a cooking stream on my uh twitch channel twitch.tv slash chewy shoot it's going to be a lot of fun my wife and i are going to be making empanadas colombianas and uh, it's going to be really good uh, so if that sounds like something you guys would like to hang out for make sure you follow me over there uh, make sure you join my discord my subreddit and my twitter if you haven't already because there's plenty of fun ways to get involved with the community antebellum's discord is also linked in the description below is if you're interested in updates for the mod or anything like that uh, you can get early access by supporting him on Patreon as well, which uh, Parmi's uh, Patreon will be linked in the description as well. Everything is linked in the description. And if you want to support me, my Patreon is also linked down there, if you would have uh, guessed that. But either way, guys, that's all, I got here. that's all I've got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.